Down in the rough. How's your day going today? Oop, you don't want to see that. Okay, well you do in a little while. Now, today, working on Work at Wednesday. So what I'm doing for Work at Wednesday this week is actually this beautiful, beautiful image from Die Moon Shop. All the details will be below. Um, I did get this with special treatment with the th three special treatments and I absolutely love her. So this one is Le Fies by Cathy Delance. Um, I purchased this one as part of the Christmas giving program with Diamond Shop. 60 by 60 and yeah, it had the three lots of colours. So if we actually look carefully, I will see if I can point them out to you. I've got the blue, there is blue sapphire up here. Let's see if I can bring it up to you. You can see there is the blue sapphires that are through here. Uh, we do have the, the, I can't remember what the pink ones are called, but they are sitting in there in the wings. If we can get the camera to focus on all that goodness in there. And then there is also the electric diamonds, so which when the camera decides to focus from there to here, Um, yeah, so uh, the electric diamonds, which I I did that I did per get the electric diamonds for all of the the fireflies or the fairies or whatever they are in the background. But um, I did have extras, so I actually did encompass the moon. But what I'm doing with that one today is I will be not quite framing it. I will be mounting it. So this is going onto particle board, which isn't that thick it's only nine mil thick but it is yeah nine mil thick it's acoustic particle board so this will help absorb sound in the room hopefully make my sound sound better okay question is what do you do with die moon shop uh, diamond paintings i don't coat them i don't seal them they don't need it if you worry about sticky, the only thing you've got to worry about sticky is the edges, which you can always see. Poured glue, you will get those edges. A little bit harder to get up than the double-sided tape, I will say. But I will zoom you down and take you to where I have already started working. And um, you get a close-up while I actually remove all the glue all the way around. So let's get into it. So what you can see here, you can actually see where I've already started and where I've actually pulled it back. So what I'm using, I can't remember the name of this, but it is from the craft store. It is designed to lift up glue. And it is just a case of what I do is tend to just pull it one way. Don't go backwards and forwards. Backwards and forwards will just leave you a mess. You need to, once you've got some glue, and you're picking it up, keep it going one direction only. Don't go backwards and forwards because it's not going to pick it up. It's just going to transfer the glue backwards. So it is basically pulling it back and pulling it down. And you'll find that that will bring the glue down. And that gets rid of that excess which you get regardless of whether it is a poured glue or a double sided tape or mounting film, film adhesive you're, if you are not cutting the edges you need to do this process so if you were trimming this all the, straight the way down so if you were going to cut this it wouldn't make any difference but there's no there's a little bit you can hear that but it's not like it was, you can see by this glue here. But it's just a case of one direction, pulling it through. And 
and I am rubbing up right up to the drills and just every now and then you'll need to get just bring it off to the side to pick that up probably an exacto and I could pick that up to the bin so I'm gonna get to get this glue off and um, come back to you when this is all done Okay, so I will say this thing here is now very sticky. I had to wash it twice. And then the second time I washed it, I didn't wipe it properly. Um, I will bring this back out shortly. But what I will show you is, see now there's no, it's removed the glue. What I used was the, so I used the thingy bobby, but then <laughs> the, <coughs> the glue re remover uh, rubber. And then what I did was with the cloth, I used isoprol alcohol just to get that last bit off, um, just that last touch off. I will say that I did have a very firm grip on um, when I was doing this, which uh, I think I popped out a couple of drills. But in comparison to be able to, be able to push a, drill, a diamond paint around like that, this is so for it. Okay, so she is now ready to be popped on this. Uh, board. The question is, and now what I now need to do is actually work out how best to do it. I'm. I'll bring you up and we'll go. Okay, so bringing that up now. I'll move that out of the way. What I'm looking at doing is, I now need to. I'm going to wrap this. This is where it gets tricky. The plan is to wrap with the grey edging. Nope, can't wrap it with your grey. I'm just looking at how much I'm going to wrap. I have to look at both sides. There we go there. So I have to look at that side and then I have to measure to make sure I get this one around. So what's going to happen? I'm going to actually pin this to the board so then I can work out the sizing. And I have a little bug annoying me. Um, so I'm going to pin down the board put pin this down onto the board so I've got it in the right position and then I'm going to have to cut um, off from the side I'm actually not going to cut anything off the top and um, this one this one side uh, so this is an 80 by 60 and she is a 60 by 60 so she's just she's just fitting on this one so I'm going to have to roll it over where are we I'm trying to get it to show you so she's going to roll over right on the edge right on the edge that's going to be it's so hard to try and show but you're going to, we're going to end up with that white showing at the corners so that's where I've got to try and work at do the measurements um, and get that done so next bit's actually probably going to be done in silence while I try and get this all, all sorted out to how I want it to sit
Okay, so that was fun. I now have the board cut. If I actually turn this the other way, you will see that it is just bigger than her, which is how I wanted it. So just bigger. Okay, so what I now have to do is I'm going to pin her again just to make sure she's in the right spots. Actually, no, I won't. I can take it the other way with putting her on there. I just need to make sure I have bench space. Yes, I have a lot of bench space, but I still always need more. So what I want to do now is actually, I'm going to glue her on. And the reason behind that is I want her to stay on there firmly before I wrap her around. Because what I'm going to do when I wrap her around, wrap the ends around, I'm going to make sure so it comes around like that. But by gluing it, using a, a tacky glue, so I will be using a tacky glue, I will be able to move this around while I get her into position. I'm using the E6000 Extreme Tack. So this, so you create, it dries tacky, so it's still movable. Because um, I don't want her actually um, solidly down. Okay, I want to still be able to move her it, but then once I've got it pinned, she's good. And... Spread it. Okay, let's put this down and get it positioned. Okay, so at the moment, <laughs> if I turn her upside down now, you'll see I have managed to pin. You can't see it. Just want to get this right. What I have done is pinned her cor the corners in, so in the right spot. I've got the edges are there, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to put some weight on this get that tacky glue to set a bit it doesn't take long but i'm going to need to put some weight on this so we'll come back to this when it has some weight on it okay so it had a couple of heavy books on it don't know whether you call fairy tales heavy books but that one's heavy <laughs> okay i'm actually I might actually leave these on there just to help hold this down. But the next process, because it's a staple gun, is very, very easy. I've still got... Gosh, hang on, let's move this over. So, <clears throat> I'll leave these books on. Now, what I have done is left the four... I've got four corner pins in. I have left them. And what I'm going to do is staple from the edge and all I'm doing <laughs> is raining the other half the garage and I'm just going to staple it starting at the outside at the middle now I will pull hang on I'm going to have to move that camera just out there to the edge just because I don't have this all the way up so what I've got here I'll see if I can pull this I don't like moving these when they've got there we go so what I've got here if you I'll try hopefully I can zoom down to this corner 
So just folding it over, I've still got the pin in, pulling this tight and pushing down. Okay, I'm going to do the same with this one. Still got the pin in, I need that pin to stay there. Okay. And yeah, pulling it tight. I could I stay for I could stay for more on there, but I'll wait until I get the other sides, other corners done, other edges done. So doing the same. And what I'm doing now is I'm gonna make sure this is pulled tight and over. I'm just going to turn this over quickly so you can have a look at what it looks like on the board. Okay, so what I do have, I do have a little bit of overhang on that side, but I do have a little bit of white at the top and at the bottom. Um, what I do need to do, okay, so you guys saw me pinning all of those. Um, but you missed the bit where I actually did the corners. I hit my remote, I hit my mouse and must have turned it off uh, by accident. So, yeah. Um, but simply put, it is all together. I have stapled it. I didn't cut. I got what you call one of the perfect folds here on the corner um, and just stapled it down. Um, just so that you have the nice neat and no cutting of the canvas at all. I will say because of this is a die moon shop one, I've been able to throw this around. This is not sealed. It does not need to be sealed. I have um, had a couple of drills come off, but they're back on again now. Um, just while I was doing the edges, I did knock a couple off. Uh, but what I will say now is, um, yeah, up to Nathan on how he mounts it on the wall and uh, I do have a spot for it now this board is also an acoustic board so hopefully that will also because it is ultra light um, it will also hopefully hopefully adjust the sound in this room to make it a little bit better as I put stuff on the walls the sound will get better and better so James I will say thumbs up thumbs down my apologies for the bits I missed um, yeah, um, yeah, a bit, bit disappointed on the fact that I missed that last bit of putting it together. But I'm really happy with this. This project's probably taken me two hours all up, maybe even less. The longest part of it was actually removing the glue from the sides, but that was pretty quick anyway. And in between doing this, while well, this was set and the setting process of the glue, um, you will see that this is still a bit spongy. But then it's a fiber board anyway so that'll be spongy in itself so um waffling on again if you're new to my channel thank you for uh staying with me all the way to this point and uh, consider hitting the subscribe button being one of the wonderful precious gems that uh watch this channel and um hitting the bell to be notified when i do an upload or go live and i will say gems on that note bye for now